Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trills of Azure. Here we have a new opening, which I think we probably could have gotten at like the intermission, but I've never seen it before. So, yeah, I haven't seen a, um, uh, a loading screen for Chapter 4 yet either, like a burnt cross spell or something. So, yeah, I guess the thing is behind. But anyway, uh, off screen I did some fishing. And what did I fish? I caught the catfish. You can only catch it here. Make sure that you get it. Uh, just use a carp and whatever rod you want to, and boom, done the end. You'll catch your catfish. It's not all that difficult. So make sure that you do that. Otherwise, you will not be able to finish the, um, the fishing duel side quest. And depending on how long this quest takes, Hopefully, we'll finish up that side quest today. That's the plan, at least. Yikes! Whoa! So, let's just keep on moving on through here. Basically, whoa! What we want to do is just backtrack back to the um, very beginning of this dungeon. Let's see if there's anything here. Anything? Nothing! Okay. Yeah, and we already saw all these little black wolf hound things last time so that does make random battle editing so much easier for me okay we're finally in a new area let's see going on through here there looks like there's two more chests i love being able to see the chests on the mini map right now it makes my life so much easier Ooh, lots of seventh awesome Oh, another thing that I did do um, off screen was I opened up one more slot on every single person's um, orbman thing so that they are. So that, uh, damn it. So that they are able to equip um, a second level two course. So that'll be really nice with uh, helping power people up, whether I want to equip those various um, bells that I've received in the treasure chests. Or, you know, things like attack threes, evade threes, those sorts of things. Okay, so just continuing right along. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it gets a little bit more complex here, but it looks to me like there is some chests over to the left, not so much to the right, so... Ah, oh, damn it! Go away! So, yeah, we don't need to worry about the um, right-hand side. Let's just go on over here. Ooh, get a mind three. Awesome. That'll help out Tio a bit, I'm sure, with her uh, casting. Speaking of Tio, make sure that she has some water elemental quartz equipped. You will need that for the upcoming boss fight. I went ahead and I gave her the Mercury Bell. Uh, along with the Mute 2 quartz in order to um, give her the Around Noah spell, which is a very nice spell that hits the entire field and deals a lot of damage. Ooh, wow. Lots of stuff there. Okay, looks like there's one more chest that we need to work on getting, but more than likely it looks like it's uh, down below. So that's fine. We've already been ambushed by all these monsters. Can any more monsters actually get us? Looks like no. Or hopefully no. Hmm. Oh, I see. Can we go up this ladder right here? Or maybe not? Okay, yeah. No, we can't. That's just great. Huh. Oh, okay, I see. It's right over here. Hmm. There's that nice secret passage. Ooh, get another fragment. Awesome. Yeah, we're getting close to uh, finishing up that fragment side quest. Awesome. Wow, get some peppercorns there. Uh, anything else? No, there's nothing. So let's just move right along. And remember what they said about um, getting rid of these hordes of monsters if we defeat their boss? Well, there it is. Yikes! Uh-oh. It's like a unicorn wolf. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Yikes! For boss time! Oh man, we're like completely surrounded here. Oh, that sucks. Uh, let's see what I want to do first. You know what? 
What would be nice, actually, would be to make sure that everybody can get a turn before they can get their turn. So I'm going to go ahead and strike Bell. That will increase Lloyd and Randy's turn order. Awesome. And then you, you're going to use that around Noah spell. Yeah, hit all of them. Ooh, you get a critical hit. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and use a, um, maybe a Raging Spin. Okay, can hit three of them with a Raging Spin. What about a combination craft with, uh, you two? How many can I hit there? Still three. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Uh, does your S-Craft have a single target? This is just medium target. Okay. Uh, let's see. These are all, okay. That's the only large one. So I guess I'm going to, uh, deal with the, uh, Raging Spin and just hit these three. <laughs> Ooh! Wow! Ooh, and you have a critical hit! Nice! Okay, so let's see. Same thing here. Do I have any large attacks? Oh! Um, but that involves Tio, and that'll cancel her spell. So I don't really want to do that. Um, let's see. What about this one? Yeah, not so much there. Uh, let's see. Crash Bomb does hit a large area, so we'll go ahead and go with that. Perfect! Ooh, got him stunned and blinded. Yeah, these little guys, they don't have a whole lot of HP, so you really don't have to worry about them. It's that big boss right there that you need to worry about. Look how much more damage that big boss does to you than the little guys. Um, also, he has a lot of defense, so you really do want to use arts uh, to take him out. So let's start off with this around Noah. damage. Yeah. One of those and just knocks out the entire field. Ooh. Hey. Another thing you could do would be to put Noel in such a party and use her sleep grenade attack and that would put them uh, to sl at least put the little guys to sleep and that would help out on higher difficulty levels. What do you mean? Uh, no, it's not their fault. Uh-oh. That is true. Oh. Yeah, Zite's like, no, 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 don't do that. It's not these poor little dogs' faults. Oh. Okay. Well, this would be the place far from human settlements. Oh. Yeah, I guess so. I say we just leave him alone. It'll be fine. Maybe Zyke can be the new leader. You know, put him under his control. That was enormously easy. Huh. Who knew? Oh, well, that's good. What do you mean? We fixed the problem. Yeah. We got rid of the boss, the job's complete, and uh, they're not going to go on and terrorize anybody anymore. So yeah, everything's fine. All's well that ends well and all that kind of jazz, right? Oh, Rixia. What are you doing here? And who are you? Oh, it's Cow. I wonder if Heiyue was the one who released that boss and, uh, you know, made him do all that. I'm shocked that Rixia isn't in the hospital visiting Ilya. Wow, she's still working with Heiyue. And she told them who she is. Well, I mean, everybody at that point pretty much knew who she is.
Oh, well, thanks. I really didn't want to kill those dogs either. Oh. <laughs> Oh, well, good. Okay, well, glad to be of service. Yeah, careful of Heiwei and Red Constellation. But we're still not really done with the ancient battlefield, because on that boss screen, there are some treasure chests that we can go grab, so I'm gonna head on back to the ancient battlefield on that boss screen. I've made my way back here, and uh, there's just two chests that we can grab here. The first one is off to the right, and as you can see, the, um, ooh, huh, Hell King, that's interesting. But as you can see, the little wolf monsters have been replaced with the other monsters that we've seen uh, in Zero before. So, yeah, just avoid them, and they're actually a lot easier to avoid than the wolves, because they don't really bother you. Those wolves were always, like, running after you constantly. But these guys... Yeah, I say that, and then this guy goes after me. This is just my luck! Whoa! It's like Murphy's Lawn here. Ooh! I really love the freeze. It is such a great status effect. It is paralyzed and poison combined into one, and it's just the greatest. Okay, so yeah, we can't go inside that fort of the sun right now, so don't worry about it. Yeah! Hey, awesome. Uh oh. Monsters! Let's see what we got going on here. And just more of those birds. Ooh, we get the Intimidation Quartz, which I think we already have, don't we? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we got two of those things now. Not that they really work all that well, but whatever. Anyway, we are done here, so now it's time to go ahead and take on um, the Fishing Guild people, Lake Lord's little guys. And we only have one of them left, and he's on the West Crossbell Highway, so I'm going to meet you at him. Just make your way over to the middle of the West Crossbell Highway by the bus stop, and hey, there's the guy. Let's go ahead and uh, challenge him. Okay. You'll find that it's full. Yeah. Sure. It's been quite a while since we've done these, so the first to catch five different types of fish wins. Yeah, it sounds oh so much fun. I love all of these little challenges here. And again, make sure you save before this challenge. And <laughs> you suck. Make sure that you uh, use save states too. So basically, we're going to be using different combinations of rods and baits in order to catch um, our various fish. So the first thing I want to do is the primary rod and then use a dumpling. And save. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet! Okay, got our carp. Awesome. Oh, and make sure that you have a lot of different baits coming in here. Uh, the dumpling, a cassigan, a roe, some red flies, a carp would be nice to have. Ooh, you got a queen crab. Uh-oh. Okay, next thing, primary rod and a cassigan. Gotta make sure I save. I almost forgot there. Awesome. Yeah, I try to be good. You know, I've dealt with these fishing games, well, hell, ever since Breath of Fire 1, really, on the SNES. That's the first one that I can really think of, the first RPG that really had a uh, fishing game. Now I want to use the little shooter as well as the row to catch our next fish. I mean, the fish I gave in the Breath of Fire was okay. Um, it wasn't like... It wasn't like this, though. It really wasn't about catching fish. Um, it was really more about... Um, getting treasure, to be quite honest with you. There was a couple fishing spots, and there was like treasure chests at the bottom of a couple of them. And, um, yeah, you really had to kind of wait to the very end of the game in order to... Um, 
grab those chests there. Okay, the next thing I want is the little shooter plus the red flies. Sorry. Oh, by the way, remember about the bug with saving states. You can save states, but once you're done doing whatever it is that you're doing with your save states, save your game yes. normally and then reload your game normally in order to not have any kind of bugs because it'll bug out if you load up a, um, basically if you load a save state, it'll bug. If you use a save state, it won't bug, but if you load a save state, it'll bug up um, whenever you get to some cutscenes there. Next thing, Viking Rod, as well as the Carp. Sorry. Uh, the other guy's missing a lot. He only has two things caught. Huh. I guess this isn't as bad as I thought it would be. No! Sorry. You're not getting away from me. <laughs> Hell to the no. I was talking too much. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna just be quiet this time and really focus. Hey, hey, there we go. Yeah, you did lose. I cheated though, but whatever. He doesn't have to know that. Ooh, ooh. I'll have to uh, check that out. The silver orca eater. That's gross. Let's uh, check that thing out to see there. The silver orca badge. There it is. Oh, huh, prevents ability down. That's. Not half bad, but I don't really care about defense. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is go ahead and um, capture a uh, fish here. One of those legendary fishes. So we want to use, um, let's see, Viking Rod, Carp. And again, save states. Save states and fishing, they just go together. Woohoo! Awesome! Ooh! Got a new rod, wow. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, yeah, something like that. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is head on over towards the uh, boathouse. Now that we've captured all four legendary fish, um, we can go there and talk to the guy, and he'll be so impressed with us. So, that's what I want. Let's see, is it you that I talked to? It is! Yep. Okay. Ooh, the Aqua Ruler, the best rod in the game. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like a plan. So yeah. Uh, I'm gonna head on back to Crossbell and meet you at uh, East Street with the uh, fishing guild. Well, here we are. What do I want? I want to kill you. Sure. And by the way, your medals kind of suck, I've gotta say. I mean, they're decent, but they're nothing to write home about. Oh, the decisive battlefield. Oh, okay, the St. Ursula Byroad Sandbank. That's the decisive battlefield? That's kind of anticlimactic. Hmm. Okay. So you know what else? Meet you there. Um, here, and it's time to end him. Finish him! Hitting the target's angler duel. Can you keep up with me until the end? Of course I can, because I'm going to cheat. Yeah. I can't imagine doing this uh, the real way. So basically what he's saying is, hey, I'm going to catch an angelfish. Now you have to catch an angelfish, and you need to know the combination of rod and um, bait that you have to use in order to catch that. It's highly obnoxious. Use the little shooter combined with the red flies in order to catch this angelfish and abuse save states. Awesome. Okay, got the first one. I am good. Okay, now I gotta get a carp. 
Oh, make sure before you fight this guy that you have a Cassigan and a Carp in your inventory. Uh, the other stuff that you'll need is just regular bait that you should have plenty of. Okay, so this one I want to use a primary rod along with a dumpling. Yeah, the one problem with saving states is it kind of makes the music hiccup there a little bit. It's not that big of a deal, but it's something to keep in mind if you're noticing it in the video. I am good. Okay, a gluttonous bass. I wish we didn't have to wait on them to catch their fish. Like, it's just, I don't know, it drags it out a bit. Okay, so what I want to use now to catch that is the primary rod and the cassigan. Oh man, I was like, oh, I was freaking out there for a second because the exclamation point wasn't popping up. I was like, come on now! A walleye. <sighs> I'm so glad they got rid of this side quest in all the future games. This is just a one-time only thing. You don't have to do this in any other games. A uh, little shooter plus the row should catch you the walleye. This is, like, nerve-wracking. It really is. Okay, the last one is a pale salamander. Seems easy enough. Uh, yep. There it is. Okay, so what I want to use is the viking rod plus the carp. Okay, come on, Lloyd. Oh, thank God this is over with. Woohoo! Okay, so now what? What are you talking about? Wasn't that the finale? Are you kidding me? That was it. Oh, yeah. A legendary fish came in. Whoa. Giant legendary fish. Yikes! Okay. Oh, great. This is just great. No, no, it's fine. Oh. Oh, great. Lovely. So let's see. Oh, I guess I got it. <laughs> I guess I gotta shoot this guy in the head in order to catch it. Hmm. Where's the fishing spot? Is it not here? Oh, there it is. Okay. Cool, cool, I was gonna say. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and fish here, use our new aqua ruler, and use our dumpling deluxe. Come on, Lloyd. You can do it! Well, unfortunately, that didn't work. So after a little bit of exploration around um, and a little bit of looking things up to figure out what in the world to do, I found yes. out. Yes. Basically, we need to now to go to go the boat shed again. Yes. And you want to talk to this guy in here, who normally sells dumpling deluxes and all that kind of stuff. He doesn't sell anything different until you actually talk to him and show him that we defeated the Elite Four. Okay. Your soul? Yoikes! But for doing this, we get the Rainbow Gem EX. The ultimate fishing bait. Got you. Oh. Oh. Really? You've been holding out on me this entire time. Huh, will do. Okay. Oh, I don't want to talk to you again. Shut up! I want to go shopping with you now. 
And once you've done this, he sells all of the bait. It used to just be that he sold the Mini Aquarium as well as the, dun the Dumpling Deluxe, but now he sells everything, so that's pretty nice. But at this point, you don't need any of those baits, so I don't know why you would even bother. So anyway, let's go back to that fishing spot on Ursula Highway. Let's try this again. Okay, we're gonna use the Aqua Ruler and the Rainbow Gem EX. Ah, oh, got it. Mm, perfect. Wow, that guy's huge. Hey, we get an achievement. Oh. Ooh, and the Mighty Chevalier Master Quartz. Nice. Yep. Oh, we get more stuff. Ooh. Is your metal actually halfway decent? Hopefully. Oh, well, thanks. Oh. Oh, it's all the other, uh, guys. Hey there. Harvard? Harvard Fisher? Who's that? Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh! A Poe's dad? Hmm. Wait, is this the guy from Cold Steel? But he's not called Harvard in Cold Steel, but they said Dad. As if it's his dad, and I know that they're brothers. Or is this somebody else? Oh. Yoinks? I will have to wait till Cold Steel 2 for that. Okay. Good. Go back to Erebonia. What? Oh. Wait. What? You want them to stay here? Why? Oh, you guys actually like competing with them, it seems. Oh, it's nice of you. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, Lake Lord is such a bitch. Smack him across the face. What is his problem? You can go now and take your little underlings with you. Good. And never come back and take your god-awful minigame with you. I hate all of you, and I'm so glad that this is over with. That was a royal pain in the ass. Oh, well, thanks. All in a day's work. Oh. <laughs> well, he deserves it. Yeah, they're really into fishing, and he's just better at fishing than all of them. So, yeah, perfect. Uh, let's actually check out that Chevalier Master Quartz. Let's see, where is it? There it is. Ooh, that's not half bad. Oh, wow, look at what elements it gives you, too. And look at those stat gains. Oh, man, that thing's amazing. Yeah, that's going on, Lloyd. Um, and then I think I'll give that speed up one, I think, to Ellie. Um, then I'll probably move, let's see, what do you have? You raise the chance of a critical, we'll give you this one for the strength up, and then we'll stick that critical one on you. Okay, perfect. What do you have, Scepter? 
I don't really care what you have anyway, because you're going to leave my party soon enough anyway. So, uh, I'll give you... Meh, who knows? I don't know. It... It doesn't matter. Okay, so the other thing that I've got was that metal badge. I want to check that thing out, too. This one. Ooh! ooh. Wow, prevents all ailments, too. Hey, that's not half bad. Plus the extra speed. I'll have to uh, look into using that as well. And then next time, I'll just play the Legend of Heroes Trails of Azure. We are uh, going to move on with even more of these side quests. They never end. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.